Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the basics of the bar bending schedule in which we will discuss different technical terms that is the concrete cover, the overlapping of the reinforcement bar in the beams, columns and the purpose of providing the hooks bar, what are the general requirements or the general details for the reinforcement bar in the bar bending schedule and also why we provide the cranked bars in our structure members such as the beams or the slabs. So we will discuss each of these technical terms in detail with example in order to understand it more easily. So starting from the first technical term which is the concrete cover. So the name shows that it is the cover. Cover means that it is the protection provided to the reinforcement bar by the concrete. That's why it is known as the concrete cover. So if we look to the general example of the beam or the column section, for example, this is in beam section and there are steps provided or we say the, we can say that the transverse reinforcement provided in order to uh, resist the transverse load or to protect the movement of the main bars the purpose of the steps is to provide the uh, resistance to the transverse loads or to keep the uh, longitudinal bars in position so and then we have here the main or the reinforcement main bars here are the longitudinal bars are the main bars so this is a general cross section of the beam so in this case we provide the some type of the protection for the steel bar so this distance from the end of the beam section to the reinforcement bar this distance is known as the concrete cover similarly if we look to the side distance so the distance starting from this end up to this steel bar this is known as the concrete cover now this concrete cover depends on the environment of the structure members for example in most of the cases the minimum requirement the minimum concrete cover for footings is 50 millimeter because in case of the footing our structure members are our steel bars and structure members are mostly exposed to the soil and moisture so that's why we provide the high concrete cover in order to avoid the steel bar from corrosion while in case of the uh, beams or columns the minimum concrete cover for beams or columns is only 25 to 50 millimeter it again depends on our structure members that either the structure member is in uh, sea environment either it is exposed to moisture or it is in uh, inside the building and there is no such uh, exposure to the moisture or the environmental conditions the third one if we consider the minimum concrete cover for the slabs so the minimum concrete cover for slabs is generally 25 millimeter so these are the general requirement for different structure members regarding the concrete uh, cover so the second one is the overlapping of the reinforcement bar the first thing is that why we provide overlapping of the bars because the standard length if we look to the standard length of the steel bar if this is my steel bar so the standard length from the factory is 12 meter so what we do if we have the beams in our structure and it is has the length of let's suppose 30 meter or 20 meter so what we do we cannot place one single bar in this beam so what we do this is our first steel bar let's suppose of 12 meter this is our first bar and we overlap the first bar with the second steel bar and we this distance is now is known as the overlapping length of the steel bar because the first bar have not sufficient length in order to take the whole load of the structure members so what we do we provide the second bar on the top of the first bar and we join these together or we see the overlap these together in order to take the load from the first bar and transfer into the second bar 
So this is the purpose of the overlapping lens. And in general case for beams, for example, this is my beam. So the overlapping lens in case of the uh, tension members, for example, this is my tension member. The overlapping lens is generally taken as 50 into D. This is for the beams or the tension members where D is the diameter of the steel bar, of the steel bar or the steel bar. Now if we look to the compression members or the, we can see the columns, in this case we also provide the overlapping of the steel bars, but in this case the overlapping length of the steel bar is taken as, in case of the compression members or the columns, is it is taken as 40 into D, where D is the diameter of the steel bar. So the purpose of overlapping length is to transfer the load from one steel bar to another steel bar because the length of the, the standard length of the steel bar we have not sufficient. So coming to the next point which is the hooks. There are different reasons that why we provide the hooks hook in the structure members. For example, the first reason I can say that we have to provide the anchorage in our structure member that's why we provide the hooks the second reason is the it prevent it prevent the seismic movements or we can say the earthquake movements in our structure members so the hooks are responsible to stop or to prevent the uh, seismic movements the third or the another reason in order to provide the hooks is the that it keeps him keep keeps the main bar in position it don't al it don't allow to move the main bars the other reason to provide the hooks is to prevent prevent the slippage of steel bar from concrete so it increase the bond between the concrete and steel there are different reason for providing the hooks it also prevent the concrete from splitting outwards so there are different reason to provide the hooks in our structure members if we consider this is the, for example the general length of the hook l so the hook length this hook length should be equal to the 9 into d from here and also from here it should be equal to the 9 in d where d is the diameter again of this bar here again the d is the diameter of this bar now this is the hook length but what should be the total cutting length of the hook here the cutting length of hook bar here in this case will be equal to the L. L is this length plus 90 into plus 90. Because here is 190, here is 190. So the total cutting length of the hook bar will be 9 plus 9 plus 90. This is the way to find out the total length of the hook bar. The fourth technical term is the reinforcement bar let's come into the general discussion about the reinforcement bar we have different diameters of the different diameters of steel bars starting from the 6 millimeter and then we have 8 millimeter 10 12 16 20 25 28 32 and 40 millimeter we have different steel diameters and this all depends on our purposes. For example, the low diameter of the steel bar are mostly used in the transverse reinforcement or in the stirrups or we can see the ties in the columns while the high diameter of the bars mostly the 20, 20 to 8 or 32 we mostly use is the main reinforcement or the longitudinal reinforcement to take the main loads uh, coming on the beams or on the columns. So there are different diameter of the steel bar ranging from 6 mm to 40 mm in our industry. But we can also manufacture the high diameter of the bar, for example 60 mm diameter of the bar, but for this purpose we must have to uh, uh, take, uh, we must have to ask from the factory that manufacture that we need this type of the bar for our in, for our construction purposes. So this we have to make it specifically. The next point I would say about the standard length of the steel bar. As I discussed before, 
the standard length of steel bar the standard length of steel bar is 12 meter if this is the steel bar so the standard length it is 12 meter and we can also make length of the steel bar higher than 12 meter but again we have to ask from the uh, factory or from the industry uh, from the industry that we need the higher length of the or uh, the more length of the steel bar then they can make for us but still we need some uh, provisions or we need some code design again for the larger length of the steel bar but the general length of the steel bar the maximum length or the standard length of the steel bar is 12 meter the next point here is this weight of the steel bar weight of steel bar which can be find out by this formula d squared by 162 and this gives us in the unit of the weight of steel bar kilogram per meter so this is the way how to find out the weight of the steel bar where d this d is the diameter of the steel bar diameter of our bar now let's suppose we have 8 millimeter dia diameter of the bar and we want to find out the weight so weight can be find out d squared by 162 or d is 8 here 8 squared by 162 so we got here 0 0.39 kilogram per meter so this is the weight of the steel bar with the diameter of 8 millimeter so this is the way how to find out the weight of the steel bar the next technical term is the crank bars that why we provide the crank bar the crank bar are provided to take both the positive and negative bending moment for example this is our general beam column construction if we see here this is column the vertical members and this is beam the horizontal member so this is the general construction of the frame structure beam in columns so when the load acts on the structure for example this is any load uniformly distributed load acting on the beam so what we see here we will have bending moment and we will provide the reinforcement bars here at the bottom of the beam to take the tension and here we will provide the steel bar at the top of the beam section and into the columns in order to take the negative bending moment so here will be negative bending moment and here we will have positive bending moment so for this reason we provide the reinforcement bar at the bottom of the beam and here we provide the reinforcement bar at the top of the beam in order to take the negative bending moment now we see here that there is no connection between the negative and positive bending moment here also we have no connection between the negative and positive bending moment then what we do in most cases we we don't cut our steel bars but we bend our steel bars here so this is negative and here is positive and then again we bend up our bars and continue the bars so this bar which has been bent up is known as the crank bar this is also known as the bent up bars or crank bars because it is bent from the positive to the negative direction so this bar is now known as the cranked bar crank bar to take both the positive and negative bending moments at the same time and now this length this length of the crank bar can be found out by this formula 0 0.42 into d where d is the distance from the edge of this reinforcement up to the top reinforcement this is known as the d so this is the way um, how to find out the length or the bent up uh, dimension and why we provide the crank bars because in order to have both positive and negative uh, reinforcement we just bent up our bars and this bar is known as the crank bars and it can take both the negative and positive bending moment so hope you guys understand the different technical terms in today's lecture and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video